We're going to be classifying different functions according to their names. We're going to review some of this stuff. A constant function in the upper left here would be a horizontal line, always in the form of y equaling just a number. Top center is direct variation. We just talked about that in the last lesson. Direct variation is a special line that goes through the origin. So it's got to be a line with a y-intercept of 0. Your identity function, which we haven't really talked about a whole lot, is a special line and a special direct variation. So it has to go through the origin, and it has to have a slope of 1. We also have our step function, or greatest integer function here, which has these strange brackets and is a series of horizontal segments. We have absolute value. We've looked at that before, which is always in the shape of a V. We've looked at quadratics before that are in the shape of a parabola. We also have a square root function, has a square root in it. It's half of a parabola that's going sideways. We also have rational functions, which we've looked at in this chapter. You rational functions might have a hole like this one on the right, or they might have vertical asymptotes. If it's a special vertical asymptote or rational function with vertical asymptotes on the x and y axes, then it's an inverse variation. So classify each one of these as something. Here, this is just half of a parabola opening sideways, so that's your square root function. Here, this is a special line going through the origin, and it has a slope of 1. So you might be thinking identity, but it's not. We have a hole here. Whenever you have a hole, no matter what it is, it's always a rational function. So here we have a toy rocket that's being launched. We're told that the height of the above the ground is given to us by negative 16t squared plus 80t. Which graph depicts the height of our rocket given a certain amount of time? We would know it would have to be the center one because it's quadratic. The center one's the shape of a parabola, which is a quadratic, and you were given a quadratic right up here. So here you need to uh, identify the type of function. This one is an absolute value function because it has this absolute value. Then you should remember from earlier in the course to graph absolute value, you set what's equal or on the inside equal to zero. In this case, that's zero. And then you choose at least three numbers on each side of that and make yourself a t-chart. If you do that, you should get the shape of a V like this. Over here, this is a square root function. We talked about this earlier in our unit. You got to set what's inside of your, at, your square root equal to 0 or greater than or equal to 0. 4x greater than or equal to 0. Solve it for x by dividing by 4, and you get x is greater than or equal to 0. That's your domain. You make a t-chart starting out at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, because it's greater than or equal to 0 for your domain, and plot your points, and you would get this shape. Here we are graphing a rational function. You should remember from CPR5, to graph a rational function, you factor the top and the bottom. In this case, you have a common factor, so you know there's going to be a hole there at x equals negative 3, because that's what causes that common factor to be 0. You're left with x minus 3. And so you're going to graph uh, this line, slope of 1, y-intercept negative 3. And just make sure you have a hole in your graph at x being 3. That's really all we're doing here. 